Good morning. My name's Taylor Gallion, and I'm going to take the next few minutes to talk about our personal relationship with water. Let's look at our existing situation. We are a city with a lot of water. Lake Pontchartrain to the north, 630 square miles. It rains 60 inches a year, and the Mississippi River flows through the city at a rate that can fill the volume of the Superdome in four and a half minutes. With all this water, we have to have a relationship with it. And what we've done primarily is build levees and a pumping system. Now, these defenses make our individual relationship with water more complicated and more complex. Now, let's look at some swimming statistics. USA Swimming came out with a survey uh, this spring. And when applying these percentages to the New Orleans racial breakdown, it suggests that 60% of the children in New Orleans have no to low swimming ability. 60%, a shocking figure. Now, but what's just as shocking is the primary reason that, that was stated for this high figure was a fear of drowning. The parents' fear of drowning. The parents' own fear of drowning is keeping these children from learning to swim. So, while we're a city surrounded by water, we find ourselves in a defensive posture where we're protecting ourselves from it and we're avoiding it. Now, I'd like to share a story about a hiking trip in the Rocky Mountains. Our group came to a river, a significant river, and many of the people there had never crossed a river like this before. So we took a few moments to watch the water. After we had that time, we each took a turn to say a word or two about our observations. The first words were wild, powerful, turbulent. Then the words were dangerous, risky. Then it was the turn of someone who was an experienced kayaker. And he looked from the water up to the group and said, freedom. Freedom. He saw freedom where others saw danger. I believe that we can create an environment in New Orleans where we can have the confidence that he had. A place where we can feel comfortable with water and comforted by it. Now, let's first look at the current idea of a pool. Most of the pools that are built today are large rectangles of water filled with lots of chlorine, lots of chlorinated water, lots of concrete deck around it, and no shade. So we arrive there, and the deck's hot. We've got to wear shoes so our feet don't burn. And we're, we find a lounge, and we lather ourselves and our kids with sunscreen. And then we, our kids jump in the pool, contributing to the ever-growing sunscreen oil slick. And it, th this is not good. It, you know, it, it could be argued it's better than nothing, but it's not good. And we can do better. We can imagine an environment that's more park-like, with grass and trees, where there's shade over the pool as well as shade over the sitting areas. You know, and swimming isn't just for children. It should be for all ages. A, you know, a, a place where grandparents can feel like they can go on their own as well as you know, with their grandchildren. We need to provide, imagine places where we can, where there's, where there's ways to experience water by people of all ages and abilities. Walking streams. Places to exercise, of course. We swim laps and do water aerobics. Beach-like entries where you can go in and children can find the water depth that they feel comfortable in. Small kids frolicking in the edges and larger kids going into the greater depths. And, and as people have been doing for centuries, Imagine places where you can soak and relax and feel rejuvenated with water. Waterfalls that massage the tension out of your shoulders and current streams where the water just pulls you along and you can relax. And pools of different temperatures so you can move between warm pools and cool pools. And you can imagine, you know, it, in, the, in the middle of winter when it's a cool night going and finding a warm pool and relaxing or in the hot summer where you go and find a cool pool and it pulls the heat out of your body and you feel refreshed. 
It is here that we learn that water can help us and can heal us. This is a vision for a place that we can feel relaxed, rejuvenated, comfortable, and have fun with water. Our collective fear keeps us from, from the opportunities of bringing water in our, into our city in new ways. A new perspective and a more positive, a, a more positive individual, um, a more positive individual uh, feeling towards water will allow us and open us up to new possibilities where we can reintroduce water to New Orleans in a rejuvenating and safe way. And this is why our individual relationship with water really matters. Thank you very much.